Hello and good morning, everybody. Um, we are on day five. We're on day five today. Um, eating my yogurt still. TMI, they have not gone to the bathroom. I've done that yet. Um, I know everything's waking up because of other things, but um, that has not happened yet. So the vlogs from here on out will probably be like this, more update type vlogs, just because I'm not up doing anything. And I didn't want to burden the family with having to carry the camera around all the time. Briley's offered to vlog for me, of course. So I know she's going to um, vlog a little here and there, but today's a big day for her, and she's vlogging for her channel. So I'm pretty sure she won't get a chance to vlog for this one, which is totally fine, because this is the channel I run. So I get it. Um, I want her to go and have fun today. I'll share what she's doing in just a little bit. Uh, but slept really good last night, okay? Like, woke up. I probably went to bed around 1-ish, 1.32, I don't even know, maybe it was 2. I say slept good because normally I've been getting like 3-4 hours a night, no naps during the day, and we've just been getting it done, you know. But I actually got um, some decent sleep, got up this morning around 7-something, took Tylenol. At 7, I took Tylenol, then again at 7.40, I took a pain, pain medicine. I've decided today I'm going to try to go all day without my pain medicine and just do Tylenol because I really want to get off of it. Um, but I am so sore off of it. But I feel like because I'm so used to having the pill and then I can just get out of bed and be like, yeah, let's, you know, I'm not running, of course, but I'm out of the bed doing better, standing up more straight. It doesn't pull as bad because I got pain medicine in my system. I need to get used to how it feels without pain medicine. So I told myself I'm gonna really try hard just to take it at night. And if absolutely needed, I'm gonna take it in the morning. But none during the day. Cause right now I'm taking them six hours, every six hours around the clock. I'm gonna try really hard not to take any in the middle of the night. That's when it's the worst. Um, at night, cause I've been up doing this all day, walking around, I'm not just laying in bed, I'm up. I'm upstairs, I haven't been downstairs really, but I'm like walking around just trying to keep my body moving and keep my body stretched as much as I can. So I feel like in turn, that's been um, hard to do without pain medicine at night because at night, whew, everything's built up. It's nighttime, you always feel worse at night. My body's worn out from all day, running around the house and just, you know, trying to keep myself moving that I'm exhausted, I'm hurting. Like I was hurting so bad and I overate last night. We had pizza in, Barry went and got takeout um, and I was like excited for it and I didn't eat much. I felt a little nauseous. I ate like two or three bites of a salad, half a piece of pizza, half a piece of dessert and I was like, done well then last night chris brought briley home they stayed he hung out for a while and then when he got ready to go it was like one o'clock i'm like mm, i'm a little hungry so i said briley while you're down there let's have a little midnight feast you know so she brought up the salad we split the salad i ate almost the whole salad the rest of the half um because she ate half and ate half and then ate the rest of my pizza and ate a whole slice of dessert and I know you guys are like, oh my God, Trace, it ain't nothing. Trust me, I know it's nothing. Cause used to, I could put a whole dessert down by myself, a small pizza and the whole salad. I get what you're saying. But after surgery, it's a lot. I did not have my stomach shrunk, okay? Like nothing happened with the stomach. But just all the shortening of your torso and the pulling on your back and your muscles are sore and just don't feel great to begin with, you just can't eat a lot. Plus, I'm not doing this, so without doing this, it's just building up. So the more I add, the worse it's getting. Um, so I overdid it last night. I did. Normally, I've been taking like little tiny meals. Like I'll eat that yogurt and that'll be breakfast. And then two hours later, I'll eat grits. And then two hours later, I ate a very small lunch. And then I, that's kind of how I've been doing it. So I've been eating like every two hours, but it's been tiny, tiny meals. Um, but I overdid it last night. So by the time I got up, used the bathroom, 
and come to bed, I literally could not breathe. I was like holding breath, but I was like, Mama, you gotta calm down and breathe. I said, it hurts so bad, I can't get to bed. Like, it was so bad. But um, I hadn't taken a pain pill, and I, and I had taken one earlier, and I was gonna try to make it through, but I couldn't. So I took one last night in order to get in the bed. But I've learned I can't eat close to bedtime, which my bedtime's like after one o'clock. I can't eat close to that. Um, for me to be able to breathe comfortably and do what I need to do. I will say breathing's been difficult, like <sighs> trying to take deep breaths, like right here. Oh, the muscles, they are so tight because where they sewed them together. It is so tight. The bottom's not bad. It stings and burns like a C-section. It's the top. If I didn't have that top issue, I'd probably be like feeling terrific. Um, but yeah, overdid it last night with the food. Shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. We made it through. We got through this morning. Did not, or did I? Hold on. I did take a pain pill this morning, but I'm not going to take another one until tonight. So I will have missed at least one dose of my pain medicine, and I'm going to try not to get up in the middle of the night and take it as well. So the goal now is I'm taking four a day. I'm trying to get down to two a day, morning and night took one this morning and honestly it's time for another one and Tracy can tell it's time I did I'm taking my Tylenol I'm not crazy I'm gonna take Tylenol um the Tylenol just ain't touching it it's not and I don't do ibuprofen so it's not like I could take that um speaking of inflammation I am super swollen I'm swollen all through my sides here Woo! they're very bruised and swollen my sides my thighs my thighs are like I mean, they're just all over top of each other. They are huge, and my hips are huge, and all that's to be expected. Um, I'm trying to stay as active as I can, moving as much as I can. Even if I just stand here and I'll do this, I feel like I'm in labor or something. Like, I'll just go back and forth with my feet, like I'm doing a dance, and I'll watch TV. Um, walk around my bed, that has been fun. This is me. I mean, I'm doing pretty good though, you guys. Like, I can get around this bed. I just feel like I'm not standing up straight. So I come to this pillow and then I work my way back. And like I said, I feel like I'm walking pretty good. It's just so friggin' tight right there. It's like if that would go away, I'd, I'd feel better. Um, my upper portion is very sore, very tight. At one point thought they were infected. Still don't know if they aren't. Um, I don't think they are. It's just the tingling, the tightness, the swelling is real. Um, I do go to the doctor in two days, so I'm just counting that down because we're on day five, day seven, I go back to the doctor. And hopefully he's got good news and he's not, well actually I'm not even gonna see him. I see his, um, the head nurse. I see him at six weeks. I'm hoping I go in there and she's like, oh girl, everything looks good. Because at the moment, it don't look good okay it don't um on my c my c-section i didn't have a c-section why do i keep saying that on my tummy tuck okay yeah i have pleats okay so you know how like you see a tummy tuck and it's all nice and flat and gorgeous not mine he told me i was gonna have pleating he did it on purpose because it makes your scar very thin and less noticeable so he said there's a reason he's like so don't freak out when you see it because i did freak out when i saw it because i was very sedated the day all this went down so i don't remember anything but kayla told me she's like mama he said there's gonna be pleading this is why don't be freaking out it's totally normal but yeah it's very flat i'm very flat from here to the top of my belly button and that even my belly button's kind of pleated but he said there's a reason for that. The belly button's very center, very straight, so I'm proud of that. It's very nasty looking, and honestly looks like there's pus in the center of it. But I ain't touching it, because I don't know what it is, and I ain't gonna dig in there. That, woof. I hate belly buttons as it is. Like, I've literally had to get Briley to wear gloves and, like, wash my belly button, because it freaks me out. I don't do good belly buttons. I don't like thinking about them. Belly buttons freak me out. That's one of my, whatever you call it, I'm say pet peeve. It's kind of one of my... I don't know, icks, I don't know, I just hate them. Um, but there's something in there, but I think it's normal. We don't know. And I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna let it go, and come Monday, we'll figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna let them look at it, tell me how it's looking, and everything. And then um, there's pleats below the belly button. And on both sides, I can't really get high enough, but on both sides here, 
it's like just folds like pleats she's ugly okay but I've been told be patient it will go away normally around the four week mark everything flattens out so I'm just you know that's where we are right now because I don't know I have no idea I've never done this but I have seen a video there was a, a girl on TikTok I watched her video I've actually saved it to camera roll because I like just go back to that because she had horrible pleats too and at four weeks her stomach looked amazing I said girl you would have never known that was the same lady so I'm just holding out for that result because um, right now if it stays like this oh, we're not gonna be happy but I, I don't think it will I don't think it will he told me it wouldn't he told Kayla so it won't um, but like I said, patience has been the biggest thing. Trying to be patient that I can't just jump out the bed. I can't just run downstairs. I can't just do for myself. Like I go in the bathroom and I see hair all over the floor and I'm like, want to get down there and clean it up. It's just an OCD thing. And I'm trying to tell myself, you can't stop. You can't do those things. So anyway, that's where we are. This is day five. Um, I'm feeling good. I hadn't taken my antibiotic did i say that already i had, didn't start my antibiotic he told me i didn't have to if i didn't want to but he likes to give it to me in case i needed it but that's pretty much all of me just eating drinking and sick of his bed i'm sick of the bed but i can't stand up but for so long because my back kills me um another thing my daughter's probably gonna be mad at me about <laughs> i have not fully i did get in the shower one time all the other times as it aka today I've been doing it outside the shower. Like literally, I lay a towel down and I stand there with my bar soap and I soap everything up. I mean, head to toe, okay? Everything's soapy, wet washcloth, go get it all off and then pat myself dry. And Briley's been helping me with the parts I can't reach, like my legs and stuff. Um, I shaved today outside the shower. I've washed everything. My, I just don't want to get the tape wet and it start coming off. I'll lose my mind. Same with down here and up here. I have tape that can't come off for like a few weeks. And I guess I'm freaking out that it's going to fall off. So I'm like, I'm just not going to shower. I am clean. I smell very clean. Trust me. I have washed my hair in the sink. That's been easy. Bending over is not the issue because when I bend over like this, it feels great for my lower back because my lower back is killing me. I did not know what people meant by that until having this surgery and people are like, your lower back is going to be your enemy. And they're right. It hurts so bad. Um, partially, you're not standing up straight. You're hunched. I'm also leaned in. Like, it's just an awkward standing situation. So, um, yeah. So, that's been fun. But I don't mind washing my hair in the sink. I could do it by myself. I could dry my hair, brush my own teeth, wash my own body. Riley ain't had to wash anything. She did yesterday doctor my belly button because I, I just can't stand to look at it or touch it. I don't like belly buttons. Um, but other than that, I've done it all by myself. She's just been there supervising to make sure I can and I ain't gonna fall. But I do take a chair in there with me and I sit in the chair as needed. But I did good today. I only sat down like once, literally to shave my legs. Um, but I've been able to wash everything outside the shower just as well as I could inside. Even washed my upper area with cotton balls. Um, Briley's like, don't do it. I said, maybe I should. The outside I did with like my hands and stuff, but I did cotton balls on the center and it was fun. And I rinsed with a wet cotton ball and it seems okay. I didn't get the tape too wet. So I feel good about that. I'm going to tell them that's kind of how I've been bathing. And if they don't like it, then we'll talk about it on, on Monday. But that's what I'm telling them because that's what I've been doing. And it's working for Tracy. And Tracy's fine with it as long as they're fine with it. I'm using Dial Body Soap. Kayla had some. It's like antibacterial, just the white, plain Dove. Not Dove. Dial. Did I say Dove? I don't know. Dial. And that's been great. Smells good. Um, so everything's good there. Like, I feel good about my bathing habits. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much all of me, but that's pretty much how things are going. Things are going well. I feel good. I don't feel like I've got an infection. Like I said, I thought these might be just because of all the swelling. And I've been putting ice on them like all the time, constantly every day, like multiple times a day. It feels like I'm nursing babies. If I had to explain this sensation, it tingles like that. It gets solid like that, like you need to nurse a baby. That is exactly what it feels like. It feels like you need a nurse. 
Um, so if you understand that sensation, the zaps that you get, if you're a mom, you've had babies, you've done it, you know, even if you hadn't nursed, you know when your milk's drying up, those sensations and the hardness, that's what you have. Um, I did not get implants. I did not. We're all natural. I just got it lifted. Where he did the lipo was on my lower back. It's killing me. Um, but I've been able to like just massage. I don't think that's hurting anything. And I'm it's so itchy because everything's waking up. So I'm super itchy, but my stomach is very numb still. Very numb. And the sides here are very, very numb. That's how Tracy's doing. Doing pretty decent. But I hope you don't mind these little update vlogs because this is what it's gonna be. Until I'm able to like get out of the house and get busy and get stuff done. This is kind of it. I'm gonna edit as I can. There are some days and I'm probably gonna get a vlog up. Look, it's the Bojangles, man. Oh, <sighs> Aiden's about to starve. He's been so ill. He's like, hey. where is he? I ain't never seen so much traffic, people. Uh, it's the weekend. And if you're wondering about the birthday balloon, yeah, it's, my, always... it's my birthday. It is? For real? You think it's my birthday today? No. Okay. That's what I was we, we just checking. It's the summer. I, I really do not. No, it's not birthday. It's Chris's birthday next week. So, oh. yeah, so that's what, let me tell you real quick what they're doing and then I'm going to end this so I can sit and eat and I just want to get back in bed for a little bit because I've been up on my feet now for probably four hours. I've been up for a while. And um, I'm sorry about the quality, the lighting. It's just I'm in a window seal and it just can't figure it out. Um, okay, so Chris's birthday is next week. He is leaving to go to New York to play Nationals because they made it to Nationals and they're hoping to walk away with a ring. Um, but they go to Nationals next week and they leave on his birthday. So he will not be here for his birthday and I don't think we're gonna make it to Nationals. Not in this shape. At first, I, before surgery, I told Brian, I said, yeah, I don't see why we can't go. We, we're not making it to Nationals. So we'll sit here in the comfort of my bedroom and watch it on TV, because we'll be able to watch it. Chris's birthday. So his birthday is next week. He's leaving on his birthday. So therefore, they've got to go out this weekend if they're gonna spend any birthday time together. So Briley's taking Chris out to eat. She got him um, a really cute present that she put together, another present that she put together, and another present that she made. She made all of it. What is my camera doing? Hold on. Says my camera's overheating, so let me hurry. Cause it's in the window, I guess. All right, so she made him a present, three little presents. One was like very handmade. She's giving him that tonight. They're going out to eat and going golfing, like putt putting. Um, but if you want to see what she got him and stuff, go to her channel and the vlogs will be up sometime this weekend and then again next weekend. I think she's stretching it out. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little update and we'll see you in the next one.